Hi, I'm back. Um, it's been quite a long time. I think before Christmas, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go show you my inventory room. And yeah, we're going to do this and that. But the six blessings, you know, have been very high maintenance the last few months. And I've been working hard on my store and um, just parenting and living. And I apologize. But I'm back and finally found a way to prop my phone so I don't have to go like this and hold my camera and hi from Texas this is Kim with six blessings picking and flipping and I am freezing I am in Texas yesterday it was 93 degrees yes in February most people would think that's amazing but no not when you're premenopausal and you're sweating, okay? But now I'm freezing because it's like 40. Texas weather. You live here long enough, one day it's going to change from 40 to 93. So there you go. So what I'm going to do today is show you all some of the stuff that I have picked up. I have been doing quite a few online auctions. And I'm not talking eBay. I'm talking like the real online auctions where you bid and, you know, whatever. Um, shipping is still kind of a nightmare, but um, I'm able to research a lot of the items before I place a bid and some of them I win and some of them I don't, but I am going to show you some of the things that I picked up since I've been here since last year. Literally, it was last year because it was 2022. So, I'm going to start out with some good things and then I'm going to get to my favorites. So, I'm going to try to get this done really quickly um, online auctions are a good resource um, I kind of got burned out on thrifting and garage selling and I I don't know I just didn't want to get out of the house it's so much easier just to get on your phone and just bid but then when you win um, and they're in Pennsylvania and you're in Texas and then the shipping is 15 times more than what you pay for the items well it is what it is you live and you learn, but I'm still doing it because I'm obsessed. My husband's not really happy with it. Okay, let's get started. Some of these things are listed. Some of them, um, very lazy, um, lack of motivation when it comes to listing, but, um, we're going to do this. So I'm going to get these done by the end of the week. So if you see anything you like, you can go to Hager, mom of six blessings my children, my lovely children. And I do love them, they are blessings. Hopefully, they will not come out here and bother me. I had to get my three dogs and um, lock the door and tell my husband, do not let the dogs out. Because I realized in a lot of my videos, my dogs are all barking, okay? And I'm not telling them to be quiet because I'm so used to it that it just, it, I didn't even notice it, so have a little bit of peace and quiet tonight. All right, here we go. Let's get started. All right. Most of this stuff is online auctions, so I will tell you if it's something that I found elsewhere. First, we've got this lovely amber vintage pinched glass base. You can see it's kind of like indented on the sides. It's got this, I don't know if it's supposed to move, but <laughs> it's like a metal thing decorative thing and then the top has a little metal thing it's a vase a vase I'm trying to be fancy with my blue solo cup because it's Friday night and yes I'm sorry I apologize for the teetotalers it's Sauvignon Blanc it's Friday it's wine night and uh, my dogs usually break my wine glasses so that's why hence I have the blue solo cup so I had to start making something Friday night cocktails and listing or something like that. Anyway, this is really pretty. Got it in an auction. Don't know how much I paid for it, but it wasn't very much. I'm sure I paid more for shipping. Okay. Second, I found one of these, which I've been looking for because I hear all about him in an online auction. And it's a John Perry. Yay. It's a pelican or a stork or a 
crane. I don't know. It's, it's just opening its mouth because it wants fish. And I love these. This is in great condition. I believe he makes these out of a, maybe a ceramic um, and then a burl wood. And then it's got the uh, John Perry little label right there. Great condition. I was really happy to get it. Okay. Online option again. This is a vintage velvet cigarette case. Metal. I guess you put your cigarettes inside of there. Um, come to find out that there was none like this. And I was like, wow, I have something so rare. There are none out there. Well, you can see a little red right there, a little red right there. Well, all the velvet cigarette boxes back in the day were red, and so this was painted nicely. But that's why it's rare, because it is one of a kind. <coughs> Who doesn't love a good pig? Especially when it's wood. Look at this. Look at it. It's a pig. It's a, it's got little feet. And it's like a little bowl that you can serve stuff in. Or a little platter, I don't know. I just like pigs and it's very cute. Okay, we'll get to the better stuff, I promise. Just bear with me. And this is my first class, so um, I'm not doing this like, whoa, yeah, here we are, I'm a little tipsy. No, I'm not, not yet. Okay. Chalkware, mm, it's kind of an iffy purchase because chalkware tends to chip. But I like this lady, um, even though she's a little creepy, kind of like my dolls. She's like a Victorian colonial style woman holding up her dress. Um, she is chalkware. She has a brown dot on her nose and a little bit of chalkware chipping, but she's very heavy, um, very pretty. There is a signature on the bottom, but don't ask me to get my readers out because that will show my age. Okay, so she's really pretty. She was from an online auction. Okay, sorry if I'm reaching. All right, let's get this show on the road. I got this original artwork. And I know it's original because and every time I do this, my husband's like, don't touch it. You don't touch original artworks. I believe it is oil on canvas. It uh, actually, you know, it's it's small, but it it's got a lot of detail. There's a waterfall there, some rocks, trees, the mountains in the background, the sky. So it gives a lot of dimension and depth this, in this small thing. And it's framed very ni nicely. It's like a burlap, kind of a linen print, uh, mat with the gold right here. And then the frame is very ornate very pretty and I learned I have a new person that I absolutely love Dr. Lori she's got a PhD in art history she's been a curator at museums she's taught art history at universities and she has been appraising items for 20 plus years she is freaking incredible I have learned more in the last month that I've been binging her videos than I have in eight months watching other YouTube resellers because she is an expert, an expert. And the other people might think they are, but they don't have the degree, the PhD, the doctorate and the experience to, to show that. They might know some things, but they're not an expert. And she does give appraisals for a very, Small amount, $59, you can get an online appraisal, um, a video appraisal, um, and she will appraise your item. If it's worth less than $59, then she will not charge you. So I haven't used her yet for an online video call for an appraisal, but I do have some artwork, huge original artwork that I'm going to do. So anyway, very pretty, very nice original artwork. God, I spent way, way too much time on that one. I apologize. Again, show on the road. A beautiful hand-carved wood, reticulated edge, carved leaves, 
little white little etching in the middle. I love this bowl. I don't know if it's marked, but uh, it's very pretty. I got it in a lot, not a lot, like a lot of items, but a lot full of many things. And I like it. I also got this. It's a beautiful sign. <clears throat> I believe it's ceramic. It may be stoneware, just painted. It's very nicely done. It's a large uh, water tea juice pitcher. And um, I like it because the inside has its sign too. It's in very nice condition and it's quite large and quite heavy. Going smaller. This is a nice little vase. Look at that. It's got to be a bud vase because you can't fit much more in that hole. Um, it looks like it has a, I don't know, kind of a texture to it. It's hand painted. It's got kind of that sandy look down there. And it is signed too, but um, I, can't. I do have one contact that is for close up and the other is for distance, but um, I don't think I've changed them out in a while because I cannot read. It's very pretty. Getting on to some better stuff. Now this I got from an online auction as well. Look at that. It's, I'm so sorry, but I have my photo box out here to give me extra light because my lights burned out um, on my patio where I do all my videos because all my inventory, well, my listing inventory is out here. I have a whole room dedicated to my inventory that's listed. It's very, very pretty. Um, I believe this is a famous thing. I looked it up and um, I think it's some kind of old apothecary type of situation, but um, it's very old. You can tell by the back, the wood frame, and you can also tell, I learned this from Dr. Lori. Please follow her on YouTube. Watch her videos if you are a reseller because she is amazing and she's hysterical. See the little nails, the little nails going down. That tells you um, a lot about its age. So that is very nice. Uh, looks like an original frame. Um, I haven't listed yet, but I'm going to. That's the procrastination station. That's me. Okay. Well, this one's all right, but it's, I guess, a cheese board. Didn't come with the glass. But this is very nice hand painted ceramic. It's got the a little wood thing, um, you know, little feet on the bottom. I don't think it's older than probably the 70s or the 80s, but again, it was in a lot. Not a lot of stuff, but a lot of items. So, I don't mind it. Okay, getting on to the good stuff. I keep saying that. These are, let's see what they say. They're signed by U. Hendrick Universal Statuary 1971 and I don't want to give away my age but I do believe that was the year I was born <laughs> 1971 so these are as old as I am I believe they're garden statuary they're very heavy um, I don't know if they're chalkware um, but they're very cute She's making kind of a weird face, like, please shut up. I can't listen to you anymore. And they're on pedestals. What is inside of these? Why are they shaking? Maybe their second purpose is a musical instrument. Anyway, here's the little boy. He's blowing a horn. Maybe that's why she's closing her ears. She's like, God, you're terrible. Take some lessons for God's sakes. Same signature excellent condition so I thought those were very cute and I don't put statuary in my yard it just you know I don't think I'm that old but they're very pretty speaking of statuary these are so adorable and I believe the same purpose for your yard hi how are you I'm holding a puppy and I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. We got to be politically correct here. And she's kind of sitting one leg up, one leg curled in, and she's got a little kitty cat. 
And I love the detailing on the hats. This is kind of striped. This is kind of like little circles. Her little face is saying, oh, I got this cute little cat. Or maybe she's about to sneeze because she's allergic. But anyway, these are very cute, hand painted, um, very old. You can tell by the bottoms. You don't see a marking. But I believe these are statuary as well. Their yard. So, I like them. Okay, getting on to my favorites now. These I had to have. They're so freaking adorable. And I know it's not the holidays anymore, and I usually don't pick up holiday stuff, but these could be all year round. Because they're not really Christmassy, but they are angels. Look at them. Precious little boy angel playing a violin with a little gown and his wings and a gold rope belt beautiful face if you can see his face look at the detail look at his lips and then she look at that holding a teddy bear look at her bare feet little braids little bow in her hair the wings she's sitting um i learned the hard way that you have to be very very careful the way you wore things on eBay or your listings will get removed. I I looked up something and the comps that I got all said black Americana, okay? And literally what I was selling sold within an hour. Shortly after that, eBay said, we're taking your listing down because your listing was racist. Okay. I'm sorry, my best friend is African American, so I'm the furthest from racist. My children aren't racist, there's all colors and walks of life that walk into my house, all kinds of kids. So I was offended, yeah. And they still have listings that say Black Americana. I thought that's what it was called, Black History. Well, so these, I just put beautiful, gorgeous, brown skinned cherubs, angels, Etc. But they are lovely. Look at the lips. Precious. So you win some, you lose some. eBay. I don't know what you're doing, but I sold my listing before you could take it down. Any nanny boo boo. Okay. Next up is something that um, I didn't know what it was. I got it from an online auction. It is two pieces, a wood base. With, of course, the green felt. The heck is that? Green felt always shows that it has a little age to it. And then this goes on top of it. What in the world? Look at that. It is a naked man bathing in a tin bucket. Clothes are hung it up, hanging up. Did I not get a Bachelor of Journalism? Yes, they're hung up. They're hanging up. I do have a Bachelor of Journalism. Um, from the University of Texas, shout out, Heckle Morns. Look at the detail. Sorry, my phone just went to 10%. Detail, detail. His clothes, his shoes. Well, there's also a chicken there, if you notice. I found out through research, this is called Chicken Thief. And if you look really closely, look at the chicken. He's got a pocket watch in his mouth and he's running away from the scene of the crime. He stole the watch from the naked man bathing. How freaking cute is that? I don't wanna break it, so I'm gonna take this off. It is signed by um, quite a notorious artist. His name is Lowell Davis. And I found out through research that Lowell Davis actually portrays himself in these figurines. So Lowell, I didn't mean to call you naked. I'm glad you're bathing. And I'm sorry that the chicken stole your watch, but this is phenomenal. Look at that. I can't wait to, uh, well, sell it, of course. 
Okay. A vase. It's very heavy. I don't know what kind of pottery it's made out of. Very heavy stoneware. But look, it's one of those, I believe they call it melting bases because it's like, mm -hmm. I would just call it abstract. And look at the detailing in the design, the top. Um, you can see that indention right there. Is this how they do it? Yeah, look, see the indention? Very, very weighted, very cool. Um, it almost looks like it's dirty because there's all these little marks, but that is the technique that the artist used. And it is signed something, something too. I don't know. Again, I'm gonna have to get my magnifier out. But isn't that beautiful? Super heavy, super nice. All right, where are we? Okay, we're getting to the best. <clears throat> I won a lot of, a lot in an auction of art glass pieces from the Sandwich Art Glass Museum in, I believe it's in Sandwich, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, yes. And this one came in the original box. It's actually um, the Glass Studio on Cape Cod in Sandwich, Massachusetts. So you can see the box. The box is a little worse for wear. <clears throat> but look what was inside beautiful art glass orb okay look how gorgeous that is hand-blown art glass and then i realized is this a piggy bank it's got a stopper on the bottom no hole for coins no why would you put money in there it would break um it has a sticker on there for the whatever the cape cod thing and then i realized it came with something a bag i'm gonna put this safely down of sand. It's not just sand. Let's shake this up. Look, there's all kinds of fabulous shells in the bag. And hence, I mean, there's sand dollars. There's little miniature starfish. There's these really nice shells like this. Can you see that? Rocks. It's just amazing. So, take the stopper open, you pour the sand in there, and it's this hand-blown art glass orb that you display with sand and um, real, real shells. I think it's incredible. It comes in the original box, so I was pretty impressed with that. Okay, getting down to the nitty gritty. Okay, I almost just broke it, trying to put it back <clears throat> in the box. It's time for a little Sauvignon Blanc. Clear my throat. Friday fun nights with wine and listings. What do y'all think about that? I think it's great. I'm all in. I'll do it anyway, even if I don't have any subscribers. Okay. This is my second to last favorite. This is and hand-blown art glass bird. Look at this, the plume or whatever that, it is a kind of a Tiffany blue. Look at his beak and his eye. He's kind of a navy blue, but of course in the light, you know, his legs are pink. And at first I was looking at the base and I was like, why, why is he, well, no, I think she's a she. Why is she on this like lame kind of cement like base? This is handmade, but why would you make something so beautiful and put it on something like that? But anyway, I looked at the back and it is marked. Lord, I don't know. So this wasn't just an art project piece. This is something beautiful and I don't know yet. I can't even tell you what kind of bird it is. I mean, when I Google lens this, it pulls up pelicans and cranes and I don't want to do that much research. So I'm just going to list this. It is already listed as very tall hand glowing blast, blast glass bird. It's gorgeous. The plume is my favorite and the pink legs. 
but I did list the marking and so it came from somewhere important but it's so delicate and no damage whatsoever I received some items from online auctions where they don't even write fragile on the box and I've shaken them a little bit when I get them and hear the telltale sound of breakage and I get so angry because I package my stuff there is a shake test and nothing moves nothing that means it's safe to ship I love her I think I'll name her Becky all right last and certainly not least because I need to go get some ice for my wine so plus it's Friday night and I think I need to binge watch on Netflix y'all tell me some of your best Netflix shows um, one of my blessings is knocking on the door about to bother me, so we don't have much time. My favorite, and I actually found this at the Goodwill because I kind of hadn't been there in a few months and decided I'd stop in, and I saw this. This is a marbleized, like a parrot or a cockatiel. Look how gorgeous. On a geode a geode look at that there's the back of it metal bird legs the gorgeous marble hand carved marbling of the bird and the geode itself is absolutely spectacular look at that on a black base look at that i picked it up for a dollar 99 i was like i don't care if this is valuable i want it because it's amazing. Well, I did some research and these could go for well over $100. So not only is this my favorite item I found in the last couple weeks, but he might be able to buy me a steak dinner. No, I owe my husband too much money for all the stuff that I bought. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe if you like it. Let me know in the comments if you know about anything that I just mentioned that I'm clueless about um which was a lot of it and let me know what you think about friday night cocktail listing party i'm all for it i'll do it anyway but thank you again for watching this is six blessings picking and flipping my name is kim and i live in san antonio texas and i'm freezing and yesterday i was sweating bullets so if you want to come to texas better bring a coat and a swimsuit because you're going to need them both Y'all have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.